Hi everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. What we're going to be talking about today is the speed at which a satellite moves in a circular orbit. You have my artistic impression of a satellite over here, and additionally we have a little diagram. Here is the Earth, and here is a satellite going around it in a circular orbit. Let's say that the satellite is going in the counterclockwise direction. That means that at this instant, the um, velocity vector will be pointing straight downwards. In other words, this satellite is um, moving in circular motion. So that means that the force of gravity is actually providing a centripetal force which is keeping this satellite in motion, in circular motion. Well, let's see whether we can set the gravitational force equal to the centripetal force. So let's do that. So I'm going to say that the gravitational force Fg actually provides the centripetal force F centripetal, which keeps the satellite in orbit. The gravitational force is, let's say that the magnitude of the gravitational force is GMM over r squared. I'm just looking at the magnitude, so I'm not taking into consideration the minus sign. And this is going to be equal to the centripetal force, which is just mv squared over r. Notice that in this case, r is, the, um, is essentially the radius of this circle over here. So this over here is r. Okay, well, we can do some cancelling out, and we can see that this mass, which is the mass of the satellite, is going to cancel out. Additionally, we can cancel out one of those r's, and we know that v squared is going to equal gm over r, and should we just square root that as well? v is going to equal to the square root of the gravitational constant times the mass of uh, the Earth in this case, divided by the radius of this orbit. And this over here is a formula for the speed of a satellite which is going around in an orbit. Okay folks, so hopefully this makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below.